In this video, we will address problem solving for the indoor air conditioning unit fan, identified as Error E3 in some brands. We will focus on the six-wire fan, composed of two pairs of connections, three thin cables, and three thick ones. These fans operate with a Hall effect sensor, and do not require a relay. 1. If the fan is experiencing issues, it may not spin or do so slowly. As a first step, check the bearing condition, and rule out any obstructions. To do this, with the equipment turned off, and without disassembling it, attempt to manually rotate the fan turbine, to verify if the rotation is smooth, without obstructions or strange noises. 2. Try turning on the equipment, and observe if the fan starts. If it doesn't, spin it quickly by hand. If helping it with your hand makes it start spinning normally, the capacitor is faulty, and must be replaced with one of the same specifications. 3. If these issues are observed, the indoor unit should be uncovered. Depending on the case, either the capacitor should be replaced, or the fan motor should be removed, and disassembled to check the bearings or clean the rotor, to solve the problem. 4. If the previous diagnosis was not accurate, the next step is to visually, and electrically check the connection status, and working capacitor of the fan. To do this, the equipment must be intervened. 5. It's essential to remember, that a capacitor stores energy. Touching the pins of a charged capacitor, can be equivalent to touching an outlet in your home. 6. Before conducting electrical tests, the capacitor must be discharged, as it stores current. The recommended approach, is to connect it to a discharge resistor. The capacitor can also be discharged by connecting its two pins, with cables or an insulated screwdriver. Although this short circuit method may affect it, a spark is generated in this case. 7. With the discharged capacitor, measure its capacity, with a multimeter on the microfarad scale. It should show a value very close to the capacitor's plate value. 8. If you don't have a multimeter, or your equipment doesn't have the microfarad scale, you can test it empirically. Charge it by connecting its two pins to a power source from the electrical grid, that provides a voltage lower than the capacitor can withstand. 9. After charging, try to discharge it quickly using the previously mentioned procedure, and observe if there is a spark in the discharge, using the screwdriver. The capacitor, should store current, and generate a spark when discharged. 10. If the fault is not in the capacitor, measure the resistance, between the pairs of thick cables with a multimeter. For this, with the equipment without power or capacitor, measure the resistance, between the green and red cables, between the white and red cables, and between the green, and white cables. All measurements should yield a value, none should be zero or infinite. If any measurement is zero or infinite, change the motor. Remember that the fan capacitor, should be connected to the cables that yielded the highest resistance measurement. 11. Now, we will focus on the speed sensor or Hall effect sensor. With the multimeter on the direct current voltage scale, 20 volts, measure the voltage, with the card turned on in all possibilities, pins of the white cable with green, white with black, and green with black. When the voltage measurement is 12 or 5 positive volts, stop the measurement. 12. The cable where the red multimeter probe, is located will be the sensor's power, and where the black probe is located, will be the sensor's ground. The sensor's signal, is the cable not touched by the multimeter. 13. 
If there is correct power, either 5 or 12 volts, turn the fan by hand, and place the red multimeter probe on the signal cable. With the same direct current voltage scale, the voltage reading obtained on the multimeter should change as the fan rotates. If there is no change in the signal measurement, there is a problem with the sensor, and we should focus on it. If the board is on, and there is no power to the sensor, the problem is located in the electronic board.